Hey guys, so recently $20,000 was in, mag in a magic collection was stolen from Minnesota. I wanted to talk about this particular collection in greater detail because this entire collection is extremely liquid. And I want to get to the point across. The point is very simply, you should treat your magic cards as if they were cash. Because when you have something like flooded or polluted or bloodstained or wooded or windswept, these things any store is going to take. They will give you cash for them. This, These things any player will probably give you cash for or trade. So Magic has come to the stage where these cards, there's no difference between these cards in my opinion and cash. Because you can go to any game store, you can find a game store uh, in your local town, city, and get cash for these cards. Now, my biggest point would be, if you had $20,000 in cash, let's assume it's cash, would you really put it in your room, not in a safety deposit box, just have it lying around, maybe on your bed? No, you logically wouldn't do that. Would you take $20,000 in cash, and I've seen far larger collections at GPs, you know, six-figure collections at GPs, would you take $100,000 in cash to a GP, uh, to a convention where it's a bunch of strangers that you don't know? The answer would be no. You would not do that. But why is it okay to take $100,000 in magic cards? And a lot of times when these larger collections, um, they're not, the purpose for this collector is not to sell or move the cards. I mean, it's just to kind of collect and show off, if you will. Um, there's definitely a showing off factor that I feel like does exist in the collecting community. Um, the MTG pimp factor is definitely, I mean, some of the cards are huge, huge, five-figure foil Russian Tomogorf, I think it's five figures. But yeah, misprints, miscuts, um, prototype cards, I mean, these all fetch five figures. So I think it's, it is very sad, I don't want to take away, obviously, the person who stole this collection um, is a bad person. However, you have to treat your collection as cash, because... In the eyes of the game store, it's cash. In the eyes of a Magic player, it's cash. And to treat it as if it wasn't cash, or to treat it as, in this case, uh, if you look at the list, it's very clear to me it's a investment. You would not keep a $20,000 investment out in the open, would you? No, I, I would put it in a bank, or it would be in stock, it would be hard, it would be password. So, I mean, everyone... Just, just got you gotta take care of your collections, guys, because um, it is really just cash.